Good morning, my little tattletales. Listen, it looks like we have peace once again on this earth. Will Smith and Chris Rock have exchanged and issued apologies to both sides. Now listen, regardless of how you fall on this topic, I'm glad the gentlemen were able to work out their issues without it blowing up or turning into something more or bigger. Let's get into the reports of what they actually said, and then I'll meet you after the jump because I have some comments, and I want to hear what you got to say. Now, we'll start off by saying violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive. Mom, we did a huge live last night when we also talked about the different forms of violence. There is physical violence, there is emotional violence, and there's also mental violence. Um, It's great that Will is acknowledging that violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive. I do think that as a society, we do not acknowledge violence in all its forms. And that's why there's so many people dealing with mental health issues because there are there is different types of violence being inflicted upon them but let's move on he said my behavior at last night's academy awards show was unacceptable and inexcusable jokes at my expense are part of the job but a joke about jada's medical condition was too much for you to bear and i reacted emotionally this is true he did um activate emotionally he hit warrior mode and his goal was to protect um regardless of if you agree with how he handled it i think we can all agree that everybody would protect a loved one that was sick and was being humiliated for that sickness um he said i would like to publicly apologize to you chris i was out of line and i was wrong i uh, kudos to will for being a man listen Say what you want about whether you believe he handled it the way he should have. I give Will props for being a man and handling things the way a man does. And being a man doesn't mean that you do everything perfect or you do everything the way people suggest that you will do. It does, being a man or an adult says that once you realize that you made a mistake, key words being once you realize or once you determine, once you realize or determine you made a mistake, then you take full accountability for the mistake that you determined was out of line. Um, He said, this is full, this is countable, there is no mincing words. I was out of line, I was wrong. He then shared some emotional vulnerability. He said, I'm embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. Again, full, complete, vulnerable. This is some grown man-ish, right? I hope we can all agree that part of being an adult or a human is realizing that regardless of what you think his actions are, he determined that they were out of line and he is apologizing fully and completely and taking accountability. Um, He said, there's no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I agree. And there's no place uh, uh, for violence of any kind in a world filled with love and kindness. Now, we did have a live yesterday when I spoke about we live in the real world and what do you do when someone has a pattern of humiliating and disrespecting you in public every time they see what options are less. If you left, if you wanna hear about that, please go watch the live. But the apology wasn't over, Will continued. Will continued. I'd also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, and all the attendees and everyone watching around the world. I'd like to apologize to the Williams family, Aunt Serena and Venus, of course, and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I am a work in progress. Sincerely, Will. You guys, what do you think about that apology? Do you think it hit all notes? Is it enough for you? I feel satisfied, but you know, uh, I have to be uh, transparent. I thought given the situation and this limited, narrow set, that being the operative words, this narrow set of circumstances, I thought that if his if his actions were not justified they were 100 percent rational given the choices uh from a pattern of continued harassment the public humiliation all this stuff given what was going on i thought that it was justified again when somebody says narrow circumstances this is not something to be applied for everyone but this narrow set i thought it was justified however chris also issued an apology let's get into that Chris said, as a comedian, it can be difficult to understand which lines are to be crossed and which ones aren't. Last night, I crossed a line that I shouldn't have, and I paid an enormous price. 
of my reputation as a renowned comedian. Comedy is never about poking fun at or making light of people with major ordeals happening in their lives. Comedy is about using real life circumstances to create laughter and bring light to an otherwise dark world. With that said, I sincerely apologize to my friends, Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith, and the rest of the Smith family for the disrespect and disregard I displayed, which was unfortunately broadcast for the world to see. I hope that with time, forgiveness can come of the situation and we can all be better, more considerate people in the end. Chris Rock. You guys, what did you think of this apology? Um, I thought he acknowledged a lot of the points that I had and that a lot of us shared and held. And obviously that Will and Jada have seemed to share and hold. It was a internationally humiliating, disrespectful situation. This is not the first time they've had interactions, which is disrespectful. This is, however, the first time Chris ever issued a public apology. You guys, what do you think? Do you think he had anything to apologize for? Uh, where do you stand on this? However, the Academy Award was not over because they had a few thoughts to say. Okay, I got this little screen grab from Baller Alert. Shout out to Baller Alert. It read, the Academy does not condone violence of any form. Tonight, we're delighted to celebrate our 94th Academy Award winners who deserve this moment of recognition from their peers and movie lovers around the world. If you did not know, the Academy said they are launching an investigation into Will's actions. I don't know how far the investigation is going to go now that Will and Chris have publicly apologized. If you don't know, Chris did decline two press charges, of course, um, as you all know. And if you didn't, I am telling you, Will, for his part, has taken full accountability. It looks like the two men have decided to end this beef. However, does this squash this for you. I went to Twitter and people had a few comments to say. Jamila Jamil said, Will Smith said not today. A man big enough to absolutely floor Chris Rock slapped him softly enough that Chris barely moved because he made fun of his wife's medical condition on a world stage. Don't say protect black women for two years and then only condemn Will here. Come on. And then she quotes Malcolm X. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. That is from the famous Malcolm X. She brings up a good point. When I think her point is saying, Will might not have handled this appropriately, depending on what your opinion is, but are we really going to just take the blame off of Chris? It looks like Chris did acknowledge his part in the mess. Uh, but there were other comments. Beasting said, y'all going to stop disrespecting black women. Um, openly Backstead says, also it's absolutely wild that the man who made a whole documentary about the politics of black hair would clown a black woman on national TV about her effing hair. I will say that I actually did watch Good Hair. He didn't, it wasn't socially conscious. In my mind, in my opinion, and if anyone's seen black hair, let me know. Chris made a documentary mocking black women and the silliness and the absurdity which he views are deep, deep, deep emotional ties and scars um, to uh, with black hair and also how that is bound up by racism. And last but least, Christy said, Beyonce sat through Chris Rock getting slapped, Kanye interrupting Taylor Swift, little mama jumping on stage. Beyonce has seen it all. She's a survivor. She won't give up. Anyway, you guys, listen, let me know what you think of this whole matter. Is this case closed for you? Or do you think something more can happen? For me, this is done. Y'all wanted some grown man-ish. This is how grown men settle things. All right, y'all. Bye.